Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. And today, another course play tutorial. We're going to talk about slurry today and specifically the manure transport mode of course play and how to use it. Uh, for those of you wondering, manure transport is basically how you haul slurry from your storage facility to the field side container, which is this guy here. And you unload it so that when this guy needs slurry, all he has to do is come to the tank and get it instead of having to drive all the way back to your pig farm, beef farm, dairy farm, or the BGA. So, let's get started. For this, you're going to need a field side container. And you're going to need some sort of tanker uh, to haul it out to the field. Now, we're going to use the stock in-game uh, slurry tanker. And I'll show you that in a minute. All of it starts with the placement of the field side container. Now look, you can place this manually anywhere you want next to the field and you don't have any problems with it. But I am going to give you a little tip here today in a tutorial uh, that's going to help you out in the future when you get ready to do this over and over and over. And that is set up a course in course play to actually set this in the same position time in and time out. If you don't, you're going to have an issue with trying to make sure it gets into the same spot for the courses that you've recorded for your slurry delivery and for your uh, uh, for your your slurry sprayer to refill. So it's very important you'll find down the road that you place it in the same position each time. So to do that, we're going to bring up course play. We're just going to record a simple course. Start recording the course. And what we'll do is we'll just bring ourselves down here into the grassy area where we're going to be placing our field side container. Pull it up here. And that looks about good right there. And we will tell this to come to a stop. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to save this. And we're going to call it, uh, you know, slurry placement or field side container placement for now I'm just gonna go FSC placement and field 27 right so that just is uh, my little shorthand to tell me that's where I'm gonna place that now in the future all I gotta do is come back around here to the beginning I can go into uh, just the transfer mode which is this button right here and I can bring course play down here to where the start point is for this route and if I just let it drive the route it's going to put this field side container in the same place every single time so just hit drive course now I do want to tell it to stop at the next trigger if I don't it'll turn around and try to come right back to the beginning and do a loop so make sure you activate stop at the next trigger. Our JCB will come down here. It'll stop right on the end of the course. I can hit stop driver. I can drop my tank. And now my field side container is right where I need to do it. And every time I need to place it, it's going to be in that exact same spot. That's very important because we're going to record courses that go to that. And if it's not placed in the right place, we'll have errors uh, in, in conflicts down the line. So that's about it for this. Now we need to get into our uh, delivery system. And for this, we're using the in-game uh, truck and trailer transport for slurry. Now I've tried this with some other uh, universal transports and I've had issues with it. So I use the old standard. Uh, it works great. Now if you have some add-on that is specific to slurry and it works fine for you uh, you shouldn't have any issue uh, I had some universal trailers that I used to haul slurry manually they work great but they wouldn't pick up the trigger point here automatically so that's the key to it is to make sure that you have a uh, trailer that will find the trigger point and load automatically if it's not scripted right uh, you will have some issues it may haul slurry for you normally but when you put the AI to do it, it's going to cause some problem. All right. So we're going to set up manure transport system, which is right here for you. It's the one with the little A on it and then the loop around. 
basically what it does is it loads the truck here then it drives out to the field transport uh tr field side container unloads there and then we'll drive right back here load and just keep doing the cycle uh, as needed so how do we set that up it's pretty easy it always starts with recording a course now just like uh, our grain transport mode we refill at the beginning of the course so we're gonna start here and we're just gonna pull up where I know the trigger is for this particular location I know this is a good point and if you want to check you can always just hit it to see if it loads it loaded a little bit so we can start recording our course right here now with our truck we're just gonna come around make a little gradual turn to head out of our BGA that we're at and again this could be a course recorded at your farm at your dairy uh, where you pick up the slurry out of your dairy farm uh, it could be at your pig farm, beef farm, wherever you need to pick up slurry, you can use it there. Uh, we're just using this one because uh, it's where we're getting all our slurry from currently from the BGA. So, we're going to bring this guy up here. We're going to pull up next to our field side container, trying to not get too close. If you get too close, you can have some issues. And just check and make sure that you can hit your container and do the overload on it. And as long as that works, um, sorry, I hit the wrong button there. And again, your trailer will do two functions. One, it will unload the field side container if you just do the R button uh, or your unload function. But if you trigger the overload, it will actually load it. So if you know that you're in the right spot and you can load and unload right there, you want to put up a wait point. And that's going to tell the truck and trailer that when you get to here, it needs to go into overload mode and overload the product into the field side container. Very important that you put that placement there. If you don't, it will just pull up here and unload. Uh, if, it, if it's fully loaded, it won't do anything. If it's empty, it'll unload the field side container. So uh, you want to make sure that you do that. And I actually hit the wrong button. I'm actually pumping it out. But once you have that waypoint set, then you can just drive on. You don't actually have to sit here and do anything. And in our case, we're just gonna make another gradual turn here, get back on the road, head back to the BGA, and we're just gonna pull right up to our stop point uh, that we had set earlier on our map, or our start point, not the stop point. And make your turns gradual so you don't run into anything. And you're going to pull right back up to right about anywhere you want. I usually leave myself a little bit of space uh, before the start point. Uh, so that way it just straightens up if you have to. So that is done. Now we can set here and we can record this course. And we can say uh, slurry to field side container field 27. Right? And I could even put BGA slurry or whatever. On this particular map, I'm only doing the BGA, so I don't have to really worry. I save my course. Now that my course is saved, I have to be in the uh, manure transport mode. Once I have that set, all I have to do is hit drive course. Truck's going to pull up to our start point. When it does, it will load itself up. Once it's completely loaded, it will drive the course. <laughs> and just for, you know, purposes, I'm going to go ahead and say that we're completely... Well, it's not going to let me drive now. I was going to go ahead and say we're done. Actually, I can make it drive. We'll pull on up here and then say drive course and let it go ahead. And Well, it's not listening to me, is it? It's going to do its own little thing. So it'll get completely full and then drive off. I was going to try and save us a little time, but that didn't work. All right, so now it's going to drive the course. Now that it's completely full, it's going to take itself out to the field side container. 
When it hits the wait point, it will trigger the overload mode, which means it's going to offload this tank into the field side container. Overloading is anytime you take something from your container and put it into another one. Refilling is when you take it from a container and put it into yours. So in this case, we are going to overload into uh, the field side container. All right, so our truck's going to come up. Remember, you want to record your course so they have a good little bit of distance between uh, your field side container and your, and your uh, trailer. Otherwise, when you actually run it in course play, uh, it will think it's in traffic and it will stop itself before you get out there. So you make sure your approach is plenty wide so that the AI doesn't see it and, and think collision and stop on you. So again, it hits the pause, the wait point. It's going to go ahead and offload or overload. And as you can see, our fill level is rising. And as soon as the truck unloads completely, it will drive off. Now, hopefully we have enough room in there for it to overload completely. We do not. It is absolutely full, but we don't have any more room in there for it. But it's done and it's going to drive on. And it's going to head back and fill up. Now, I have the settings on this set to where it will drive off at 90%. Now, how do I do that? under the combine set or combine mode settings combine mode you can set drive at 90 percent refill until 100 percent so i could set this to only refill up 50 percent of the trailer or i could set this to drive off once it's a hundred percent empty now because i have it set at 90 with it only having six percent in there that means it's uh it's over the threshold so it needed to come back and refill and so it will come back here and it will get its its uh, slurry. Now the one issue you need to think about, and I've had this, and you may run into it. I've had issues with the game sort of glitching out if this truck is sitting next to the field side container when the tractor with the slurry spreader comes in to fill up. Um, I'm not exactly sure if that's unique to me or if that is uh, something that happens in the game because it's trying to take from both the truck as well as the field side container. So uh, one practice that I like to use with this is fill up your field side container. Once it's filled up, stop this guy from running his route and only let him run once you need him to fill up the field side container. Uh, that way you won't have any of those glitches. The glitch that happens is once it does that, it tends to uh, the tractor that is doing the spraying. If it's just spraying, you probably won't have any any problems. But if you're using the injector, the injector wants to fold down and never fold back up. And uh, it causes problems with the, with the uh, tractor trying to get to the trailer to refill in the... Uh, in game so but this is the basics on how to use uh, manure transport that's really all you need to know for the manure transport side of it I will do another video on slurry how to do slurry and how to actually set up the tractor so uh, that'll be in a different video at this point this guy would sit here and just wait uh, for the field side container to empty and then he would overload into it until he is uh, unloaded 90% of his uh, trailer and then once he had done that he would either drive off or unload completely and then drive off so all right guys that's it for today for the manure transport side of it again there's another video coming on how to do slurry uh, that video if you'd like to watch it just check the playlist and it's in there uh, thanks for watching hope you found this tutorial uh, useful and it'll help you out with slurry again you can set your starting point at your dairy farm, your pig farm, your beef farm, your slurry, uh, uh, let's say you got a slurry pond, uh, the BGA, wherever you've got slurry contained, that's where you start your transport. You take it to your field side container. 
You put a wait point at your field side container, loop back around to your stop point, stop your course, record your course, and you are good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, I do a new one every single day. Subscribe to the channel, and you'll get a notification when the new videos appear. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks again for watching this video, and if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day, so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.